Well, Napoleon and Josephine want to thank everybody for coming to their Jack and Jill shower for the big wedding next week. And we hope everybody had a great time, the dogs included. We had a little doggy buffet. We had lots of food for everyone else. So uh, I want to thank everybody for coming. And we'll see you next week at the wedding. The big Chihuahua wedding. Well, it's not going to cost a lot. I, yeah. I'm serious. It's really? not. How, no. much, how much are we looking at? Oh, I, 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 and I, big is good. Big is beautiful. Great. I can't Don't wait for they? people to see them. They're, They're going to be so blown awesome. away. Come on, fat boy. Let's go. we got to lose some weight. Oh, my God, Josephine. This is so much fun. You're going to look good in your dress. I'm going to look good in my yeah. dress. When I was told, Ken, uh, by our producer, they said, hey, Ken Costick's coming in and his dogs are getting married. I'm like, yeah, it makes yeah. complete yeah, sense yeah, to total me. total sense, right? <laughs> I you, said, you weren't surprised I at all. I said, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Some people have said that I'm vicariously living through my dogs. And I'm not sure whether that's true or not, but uh, you'll have to tell me. That is just too isn't that, cute. Isn't that cute? I don't think so. Do you think I'm living through the... No, I don't think so. Look, it, it is. I'm uh, Desi Cabrera. I'm Ken Costick's partner, business manager, and Casper's father. So, <sighs> wow, this, this whole event is crazy. We now have the voice to speak on behalf of them about love. And that's what this wedding is all about. It's about the fact that they can express their love and they have every right to. Casper's not dealing with this too well. As you can imagine, I mean, he's lovesick for Napoleon. Every time he tries to hump him, Josephine gets in the way. So, I mean, how can this dog really be happy about this wedding? But, you know, we try to include him. We try to include him. He said he'll be the best man, but he might be putting his paw up and stopping the wedding. So my name is Inga, and I am Ken's business consultant, and I've known him way too long. So I want to introduce everybody. We have Inga. She's kind of my money person. OK. Hi. Just kind of ignore her. Ever since he got those two dogs, it's like he spent more money than, oh god, way too much money spent. Mr. Costa, it's time for the cake tasting. Take the Rugrats. I think if he really wants kids, then he should get kids. Dogs? Fuck off. Who's got time? Um, now, Susan, you're going to be handing off the groom Casper. from behind the curtain that's here um, to, to Ken. Hello, my name's Justin Rattan, and I am the owner of Cherish Event Management. I'm the wedding planner for the Big Chihuahua Wedding. Um, working on this wedding has been great fun. I've never worked on a dog wedding before. So you know exactly where you're going to be going and standing and that type of stuff. It's pretty similar to a human wedding. Um, there is the bridezilla, Josephine, uh, and Ken a bit too. The wedding planner is screwing up. Ken has been crazy, like crazy, calling down everybody. He has been such a bitch. But I totally understand it's his babies, you know, it's all good. I just really hope it all turns out really well for him. Because if not, no, no, not good. And how dare this group tell me where I can do business? Again, it's not that you sell the product there. Oh, it is. Don't sugarcoat it. Yeah, actually, this can't be taped. Sorry. <laughs> if you ask me, would I do this again? The answer would be no. It's just weird. It's just really, really weird that we're actually talking about a big Chihuahua wedding, and who would have thought that it actually came out better than a lot of real life weddings? <laughs> Normally, I really love um, watching the groom watch the uh, bride go down the aisle, but uh, because they were dogs, they weren't really paying attention to each other. Oh, the favorite part was when Napoleon was actually barking and responding to the Ted's vows. <laughs> so that, yeah, that was that was. That was priceless. That was so adorable. Do you promise to share your treats and your toys and the laps of your loved ones until your muzzle goes gray and your eyes go milky? I think that, that Josephine and, and Napoleon are definitely a great couple. They seem to love each other. Um, and I think they're definitely going to stay together. And now, by the power vested in me, by me, <laughs> I now pronounce you dog and wife. You may now sniff the bride.
This is the first dog wedding that I've ever officiated, and it was very exciting. Although I came here under false pretenses because Ken doesn't know this, but chihuahuas are my least favorite dogs to work on at work, and I actually have a big long routine about killing chihuahuas. It's great. Every time a chihuahua dies, an angel gets its wings. Ted did an amazing job. But the gays love to marry people because they all have to have rights. Now the dogs have more rights than I do. So let's just move on. So I'm going to be the hag that says goodnight. Goodbye. Well, it's over. Yeah, finally. Oh, I can't tell you. That's like planning a real wedding. So many months and so many hours of hard labor and hard work and God. Yeah, we're never getting married. No. No, no, no. Never. never, never. That's not happening, not after this experience. The next wedding is gonna be the big gay chihuahua. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> so stay tuned because Casper is going after Napoleon. I don't condone weddings. I don't advocate weddings. I think marriage is bogus. I think it's horrible, actually, for any sexual relationship. But I get paid out of it. Great. So I think Ken is very happy with the outcome today. And whatever Ken is happy with, I'm happy. I would say that this was kind of, I don't know, in a way it was magical, you know, it was, it, it was total fantasy and I love fantasy, so this was a perfect day for me to be here. I guess the only part that's a bit of a disappointment is for Casper because he's a little needy, so he's been neglected and with it, it's been all just about Napoleon and Josephine, Napoleon and Josephine. Sure, he's always the groom's man, but he's never the groom. So you know what we think about this wedding now? Sure, it's all done and over, but this is what we think about this wedding. Good luck, you'll be divorced in two years. Yeah, yeah, we're tired. Well, even though there were some politics involved in the big Chihuahua wedding, and we weren't sure whether we were gonna pull it off, it all seemed to come together. And I'm glad, the kids are glad, and I think everyone else had a great time, and I'm very pleased. Aren't you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, kids. The five minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Oh, I love you guys. That's right. Go to sleep. Let's all go to sleep.